Hi, I'm Carrie Lee, and today we're going to focus on the backs of our arms. So grab your weights if you want, get into something comfortable, and let's do a little 10 minute toning. Let's get ready and pick up some weights if you like. You can do this completely without weights at all. I use these, they're only two and a half pounds, so they're nice and light, but just enough to add a little bit to my workout, and they're pink, my favorite color. So let's start out with our feet right underneath our hips. Bend your knees just a little bit and make sure that you can pull up with your stomach. Um, keep your core tight, lift your rib cage, and roll your shoulders down and back. We're gonna keep this bent position throughout this entire workout and this will help us also get some benefit from the waist down. So before we start to do anything strenuous, I want us just to warm up our arms with this gentle motion of just circulating around, circling our arms. Make sure that you're not just reaching out a little bit with your hands, but you're engaging your rib cage and your back muscles and reaching out into the universe with your arms as you slowly circle your arms. This will get us in touch with every muscle in our shoulders and our back as we move out in each direction. Let's reverse this direction. And as we continue to make big arm circles nice and slowly. I want to remind you that as we do all of these motions that you want to make sure that you keep your muscles engaged and you're supporting the weight of your arms and engaging your back and your shoulders. We don't want to swing our arms. We don't want to, especially if you're using weights, do not swing the weights. We don't want to use momentum because if you're using momentum, you're not using your muscles and the muscles are what we're trying to get at. So also, um, let's make circles up overhead with both the weights put together. Make sure that you don't arch your back as the weights come behind your head, support that with your stomach and then reverse those circles. We're just warming up our shoulders and our arms. Um, what I was going to say is if you start flinging the weights, you could take your arm back into a place it's not happy to go. So we don't want any injuries occurring that way. We want only benefit, no injuries. Good. So the first thing that we want to do is just bring our arms in and forward. And this is probably where you're gonna feel the strongest in your arms as we go through these exercises. You, if you stop and think about it, you realize that everything, every task that you need to do throughout the day is something that's happening out in front of you. How often do you have to put your arms behind your back? You don't. So that's why things behind you start going to pot and falling down and being a little loose because if you don't use it, you lose the tone. So this is a start, uh, an easy one to start with because we use our muscles like this all the time. So now we're going to bring our elbows back and just press back with our arms like this. And the whole time you're doing it, you're keeping your stomach tight, keeping a straight back keeping your rear end engaged and supporting using the slow. Here's a special place where you would not want to just swing the weights back. So you could get that. The goal is not to get them higher. It's to use your muscles as you get your arms behind you. So we'll continue to do this. We're continuing to think about our stomach I want you to keep your arms back there and pulse in. As you do this, you should feel that spot right between your shoulder blades. Again, we're not trying to just fling. There's no purpose to going faster. Actually, the more slowly you go, the more effort it's going to take. 
and I'd like you to go slowly because you're being careful when you take your time. Pressing in, squeezing between the shoulder blades. Stomach is tight. Good, now with your arms back there and your fists back, just raise in that position. When you think about it, how often do you have to raise your arms behind you? Never. That's why it's loose. So a lot of these exercises will be done to the back to get in touch with those muscles that are forgetting what they're there for. We have to remind them. Good. Now let's bring our arms in and press out. In, straighten out, in, straighten out, straighten out. And your, the backs of your hands should be forward as you straighten out. This will really get you in touch with, um, as I'm trying to find exercises that will hit me where I am the most loose, I find that something like this is good, but you wanna remember that as you do this, you don't wanna use heavy weights and you don't wanna overdo this muscle, even though you want it to be tight, you don't want it to get bigger and that's what will happen if you focus too much on this one muscle that's right here and that's what's going to lift up as we call the bat wings. Um, but you just want that to be toned. You want a little separation back there. You don't want to increase that muscle and make the backs of your arms big. You don't want to do that. Okay, so let's take those weights up and over our head and behind and out and in front, up and behind and out and in back, up and behind, out and in front. Keep it nice and slow. As you go, you should really be feeling this. If you get tired and you feel like, oh, I'm worn out, I'm done, don't quit. You can take a little rest, shake out your arms, rotate your shoulders. If you're holding weights and you feel like you can't go on, just put the weights down. Try to keep going. And behind. And let's do two more in back, out, and in front. Think about your stomach muscles. Think about the beautiful shoulders that you're going to have when you put on your sleeveless shirt and in back. Good. Now this time, I'm going to put the weights together over my head and keep my, my elbows close to my head and lower them straight down so they just barely touch the top of my spine and then come straight overhead. Now remember as you do these exercises that come from overhead and back or a lot of these exercises where you work behind, uh, when I started thinking I have to tighten my arms and I was doing these exercises like crazy, I, I got a bad crick in my neck because things where you're reaching behind. I was in trying to engage these muscles that I'm working, I clenched up my neck. So make sure you don't do that. Just keep making sure that your neck is nice and relaxed and loose, but your stomach is tight and you are not using momentum. You are using your muscles. Good, and I think that these quick little workouts they shouldn't be the only thing that you do. You should try to get a longer workout a couple times during the week, but a quick workout here and there will really add to your little spot toning exercises that you want to do are really effective. How often do you move your arms like this as you go through your day? Never. Okay, let's do two more. One. And last one. 
circle all the way out nice and slowly feel the power and down good okay let's inhale and reach up make a triangle with your fingers and exhale down inhale up make a triangle with your fingers exhale down now as your arms are should be nice and warm at this point it's a great time to again extend your range of motion by stretching your arms in all directions and reach out all the way from the base of your rib cage up here keeping your stomach tight um, in this one i'm trying to touch my fingers in the back do it on the other side always warm up first do your exercises and then when your muscles are nice and warm and buttery, then you stretch at the end. Try to see how high you can raise your arms in the back. And now we're gonna try to touch our elbows. And we're done, great. That's our quick workout for today. Come back and see me next week. I have new videos every week, a new spot on our body where we can get more fabulous, more fit. <laughs> if you like the workouts, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you here next week.